Okay guys, I was hoping to do a vlog today, but it turns out that my motorcycle has a puncture on the front, so I'm going to have to replace it. So let's uh, undo the uh, spanner's wrong size. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Right, ah, that fits. Oh, hang on. That's rock solid, that is. Huh. Well, it looks like I'll be doing a vlog after all. Uh, okay, guys, now my tire is sorted. Well, I'll explain about that uh, at the end of the vlog. This vlog, I've decided. I'm going to talk about Halloween. So I've done a, a, a Christmas vlog, and I've done an Easter vlog. One thing I haven't done is a Halloween vlog. Now, I've got the uh, chest mount today because I'm probably going to be talking with my hands a bit. But uh, yeah, so Halloween. Halloween and the occult. That's what uh, I've decided to call this video. Uh, because I want to talk. <laughs> it's odd, isn't it? The question motor vlog on, on Halloween. Because a lot of questions really, well, a lot of questions I know, don't celebrate it. I don't particularly celebrate it. It's not something I've, uh, I've done. It's, uh, it, it's a thing that's... I've been brought up with a notion that, you know, it can lead into a dark way of things. So what I thought I'd do, I'd divide this vlog into two parts. <clears throat> the first part I'll talk about the Halloween history of it, where it comes from. And the second part, I thought what I'll talk about is the sort of the, the echo and the dangers of it. Okay, so uh, here it goes. Well, okay, let's talk about Halloween. Where does it come from? Well, Halloween stands for All Hallows' Eve. Basically, it was once a um, sort of a pagan festival around about this time, sort of 31st of October. I think it was a bit earlier, I think it was like 28th, 29th, I'm not sure. But basically, it was like a, the end of Harvest Festival, but the end of autumn, going on to uh, summer. Now, in the uh, <clears throat> summer, it was turning into winter, and they, they, it was celebrated by the Sanhim. Uh, the festival was called Sanhim, it's by the so it's pagan sort of uh, rites. And uh, they would do, they believed that the spirit world connected with the this world, you know, so if it opened up. So, basically, what they would do is. They would carve jack-o'-lanterns, or what we call pumpkins. Oh, it's still there. I wonder if the sound recorder dropped out the pocket. <laughs> anyway, um, the, uh, so where was I? Yes, the, uh, so the, the dress-up, the, so the jack-o'-lanterns, is the idea and wearing scary costumes and having bonfires and trick-and-treats, which uh, originated from actually trying to please the spirits by giving them sort of uh, gift offerings, and sacrifices and stuff. That's where the trick and treat comes from. Um, so that's kind of the basic history of Halloween. Now, it's called All Hallows Eve because on the 1st of November it's called All, ha All Saints Day. So All Saints Eve and then All Saints Day. Um, so, yeah, just like enough where these pagan festivals turned into a Christian one, I think it's still celebrated by so some uh, Christian denominations around the world where they put flowers and candles on people's graves to remember the dead, it's the day of the dead um, so I, I don't know what you think about 
it's uh, Halloween, you guys. Whether you want to celebrate it, how you feel about it. Um, I, I personally don't, don't celebrate it. It's they've been brought up with it. You know, it's not good to celebrate, especially for Christians. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of where I am now. I'm losing my train of thought here. Now, if you know, so how you you approach it, I think it's entirely up to you. But the reason I was told not to participate in it is because of the dangers of the occult. Um, and, so, and so, what I'm going to do now is talk about the dangers of the occult. Okay. Now, the occult is basically people who practice witchcraft and other pagan rituals and rites and stuff. Um, quite evil and uh, some of what the, the rituals are you know, even some of it can be human sacrifices is that, that's as far as that it's probably not done today because I think if somebody was offered up as a human sacrifice you'd probably uh, face the uh, full front of the law so probably people don't do it but it is quite an evil thing to do and there's lots of verses in the bible that say you know look guys this is not a good thing to practice and it doesn't please God so by practicing this stuff, it's not a good thing to do. And I can, I'm going to look up on the screen, I'm going to scroll some Bible verses. Yeah, sort of up there, because you're down here now, not up there. Um, scroll some Bible verses, and you know, they, I could go on, a, a few of them are found in Deuteronomy. The people who practice these sort of, uh, these arts, you know, don't gain a place in heaven, basically. That's, you know, that's the main reason why a lot of Christians don't practice Halloween. Because they feel that it's actually originally, it's a festival originated from that sort of witchcraft sort of practice, a sort of paganist style practice. And, you know, you probably think, oh, yeah, I don't believe in this sort of stuff, there's nothing harmful in, you know, dipping your toe into the uh, spiritual world because, well, hey, you might say, I don't believe in God. You might say, hey, you know, I don't believe, believe in the supernatural. Okay. Yeah, I mean, from where I stand, a lot of, a lot of the supernatural is fake. And, uh, hmm. Yes, the supernatural is a very fake thing. I mean, a lot of, there are some magicians. Now, magicians usually sort of say, well, you know, look, my tricks are all sleight of hand, smoke and mirrors, and uh, a bit of misdirection. And, yes, that's, that's what a lot of it is. And a lot of the so-called spiritualists and fortune tellers and stuff use similar tr tricks. And one of the tricks they like to, uh, one of the, some of the group of people that have uh, tried to expose them have been magicians. People like um, Harry Houdini and James Randall and people like Darren Brown have um, done their best to actually, you know, and they've been successful to expose what some of these guys do. Um, and, and that's the other thing why I wouldn't want to get involved with the occult and spiritual world. Do you really want a bunch of charlatans to trick you into belie believing in things you really don't want to believe in? I mean, seriously, guys. Is that the sort of... Do you, do you really want a bunch of charlatans? And yes, it, it, even a lot of these TV evangelists are charlatans as well. I mean, and yes, they, they, they sort of get people to, you know, faith healers and stuff, give, get people to give up their medicines and do crazy stuff like that. I find it quite uh, awful. But I would also say that in the spiritual world, some of these people are actually wrecking lives. 
lots of lives are being destroyed by uh, spiritualists just because they're being foxed by char charlatans and you know, it brings people into a lot of distress and so I, I just want to say okay guys you know I don't know what you guys think of Halloween I've, t I've told you what I think of Halloween I don't practice it I don't, don't want to get involved in it you guys might have a different idea, a different viewpoint. You might be completely okay with it. But I'm going to give you just one thing. It's be safe and stay away from practices of the occult. Because they can lead you up a real dark path into a dark place. I know a few friends of mine, even family members, who've gone in that direction. And it, it really is sad. Really, really is sad. So, thank, thanks, for, thanks for watching if you got this far. Um, now, that entire flotion trick that I did at the start of the uh, video, I am now going to show it to you. So, I just want to say, you know, Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog and be safe this Halloween. Okay guys, I'll just show you how this trick is done. Um, I didn't have a flat tire, I actually deliberately let my uh, air out. And this is a dummy valve. I'll rip it off, just held on with a bit of a duct tape. The real valve is hidden between the forks. Connected to an air pump behind the bike. If we come up here, the motorcycle front forks are tied out to prevent it from moving. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks, guys.